being a scientist and having a child, are you, are you like cognizant of like every single factor that's taking place, like nutrition, all the input, emotional input, environment, like must be kind of mind blowing. And mind exhausting too. Yeah. Yes, it is. I'll give you an example right now, like, cause we're traveling right? and, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty, this, the BPA, so plastic bottles, you know, I'm having to give him water and he's like obsessed for whatever reason he's obsessed with drinking. I brought his like, you know, nice cup, um, but he doesn't want to drink it out of his cup. He wants to drink it out of these plastic bottles. It's novel and it's right. crinkly sound. And anyways, you know, so I'm like, all I can think about is the BPA and, you know, am, am I am I exposing him to too much and what's it doing? And, and is that BPA, is it leach only when it gets hot? Is that how it works? So, and that's another thing I was thinking about in my hotel today because I was making a coffee with one of those... Um, one of those paper cups that has the plastic lining. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't know what's in the plastic lining, BPA or some of the BPA alternatives, which have also been shown to What does BPA stand for? Uh, bisphenol A. So um, to answer your question, there's been experiments done that have shown heat. So boiling, boiling water and putting it in plastic increases the BPA that leaches into the, the solution, into the, the water by like 55 fold. So... Yes, definitely heating it up is like way worse. And so one of the things I'm always now thinking about is, you know, going to Starbucks, whatever. The plastic lining they're putting in those cups when you get your hot tea or your hot coffee. Um, I don't know if there's BPA, but there's now studies that have come out. And these studies have been done in animals that show like BPS and some of the other um, BPA replacements also have negative consequences on the endocrine system, on reproduction. And some in some cases, they're passed on to multiple generations. Now, how much of that is actually translates to humans, it's unknown. Um, but there have been studies, at least with BPA, that have shown that, you know, you give a person a, a single dose of BPA and it disrupts, like, their insulin sensitivity. Um, it also plays a role in, like, um, um, causing problems with in vitro fertilization. So it's, you know, disrupting hormones and things like that. So I was really cognizant about it during pregnancy because, you know, typically um, we do detoxify detoxify it uh, quite well. Uh, the half-life is like a, less than five hours and we excrete it through urine. It also comes out through sweat, by the way, which is really good. Um, but preg but you know, when you're pregnant, for whatever reason, the placenta, it, you know, you you're basically take the BPA, your body, it's in your body and your, your liver will, you know, inactivate it to this like more benign compound. But when it crosses over the placenta, it gets, in, it gets activated again. And so it's like, that's why the effects are much more uh, robust, always on like the developing fetus. And so I was really made sure I was like not drinking anything out of a plastic bottle or anything like that when I, while I was pregnant, just because, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> right. At the end of the day, there's, there's a lot of studies that have been done in animals and just how much of that, you know, translate, how significant is it? It's really hard to say. Um, but it's certainly concern. And it's probably a compounding effect, right? With all the other environmental factors, pollution, particulates in the air, oh, yeah. chemicals, all the other jazz that we take into our body all the time right yeah and then the fact that actually aging bottles like as you for whatever reason as a bottle sits like if you keep using for example the study was done with baby bottles if you keep using a baby bottle and putting liquid in as the, the bottle aged more bpa was leached out into the liquid so for whatever i know it's just <sighs> so it's another thing i'm thinking about with all like my son's stuff it's like everything's plastic and he's chewing on it's like you know at some point you just can't like <laughs> There's, you can't control everything, right? How many kids do you think you're going to have? <laughs> right now, um, one is, it's, it's, I am so satisfied. I'm full of so much joy, and it's a lot of work. Um, and, I, you know, he's 13 months, so I've, I've only had him a little bit over a year. So right now, I'm, I'm really happy with him being special. 